Now the first thing you want to do is uh, from the phone uh, when you copy over the video you actually are going to want to make a copy of it. Uh, so in this case if I go into my phone the video is under the MADV folder media. Uh, so here is the raw video file uh, that was there so I'm going to copy that over to my local drive. Okay, now that that raw video is copied over, I can close that out. Uh, I'm actually going to make a copy of that video. Just Control-Z, Control-V. Uh, and now just to make this easier for me later, I'm going to call one left. And I'm going to rename the other one right. And that will make sense here in a second. Once you have those, you just want to drag them both into the Color Auto Pano Video Pro. Uh, you'll see both of them. Now, if you go ahead and click Stitch Now, um, I'm just, I usually start with this template here. Uh, I haven't really messed with the other ones, but this one seems to work pretty well um, for at least our use. So I hit Stitch, and it'll do the result over here. Now, it's going to look weird, um, pretty much just four images that are not stitched correctly, and that's expected. Uh, what we want to do from here is click Edit, and that's going to open this frame of video in uh, Autopano Giga. Alright, so then once that's open in Autopano Giga, all we need to do is just double click on this area over here to the right. This is going to bring up your edit window. There's two things we want to do here, uh, the, and this is actually pretty simple. If you click this little icon here for image properties, um, you'll see it, it does some auto detection here stuff, which uh, is cool, but doesn't really matter. We just want to go to the circular crop. Uh, now you'll see I have my left image open right now. All we need to do is drag this image here, or this uh, mask here, to select what we're going to want. So what's the actual valid part of the image? Right about there. And then you can click this double arrow to go to the one labeled right. And that's what I want to copy on that one, is the right side. Right, so right about there, give or take. Um, and once that's done, I'm just going to hit OK. And you'll see that this stitching updates, but it's still wrong. Uh, a lot of tutorials will go into using control points to line up the image, but we have a rough idea already of how these should be lined up. So by expanding this section here, um, we can actually play with these. For instance, we know that one of these images is going to be roughly 180 degrees off-center. Uh, the other one should be zero. Um, everything else from there, your pitch, your roll should be about the same. Uh, we also know that the field of view for each lens is roughly 180 degrees. Um, as you can see, we already have a better result. Um, we can continue playing with these. I, I found that if I do one at about 190 and the other one at about 186, 187, uh, you can already see a, a huge improvement over what we had. Now, of course, Things that are close to the image when we originally cropped it uh, are going to be cut up a little bit. And you can go in and, and fool with this even more, but a lot of this is actually going to be taken care of with just the blending, which you can kind of preview here by clicking the blend button. Um, as you see, I'm still a little bit off. Um, but again, a lot of this can be uh, adjusted. That's pretty good. Um, if at this point I hit Save Project here, I can actually go back to the video, and you can see it's it's now stitched. Um, it's really not bad uh, at all. Some of the offsets are probably not ideal, but again, some of the stuff in this shot is really close together. Um, I've gotten better results playing with it that way, um, but that's a good starting point. It's really just playing with those values. Um, you can kind of preview things here, and then when you're ready, uh, go to your render. Um, now I've done, uh, if I'm going to export to YouTube or whatever, I have used the H.264 MP4. I found that if I just do the straight up 4K and uh, go with their max settings, 4096 by 2048, um, I actually get an original video which is going to set me to NTSC 2997. Um, video bitrate, I go high on this, uh, 50 or even 60, uh, to get a nice clear video, um, which is probably ridiculous, but that's what I go for. And then I can just save this up to my render. And 
Uh, I can apply that and it'll save it, or just go ahead and click render and it'll render that out. Yep. 